what is a model? How does it exist? So, again, going back to our uh, fishing expedition. So the algorithm was just that kind of like a uh, vanilla net. Now the model in that analogy would be our fully uh, customized uh, fishing net itself, whereby we have uh, tuned the weights. And now if we take that analogy back and we just bring it back to our machine learning world, over here, the model is literally the trained uh, or the learned parameters. So that, that literally is the model. That, that, that is the intelligence. It, it, let, me, it, let, it, me, let me interrupt you, Ajit, just to better understand. Um, so, the, okay, going back to our example, um, the results of this model training and of our data science um, process here was for us to better customize, give us the data we, intelligence we need to better customize our fishing net. So um, if we look at it that way, the fishing net exists as something outside of this process. We use this to produce data to help us customize it. So is the model then the design of the fishing net? Is it the parameters in which the fishing net needs to be um, created within, or is it the customization data we need to to improve our fishing net? Like, if we if we are if if our fishing company is using using a data science system to customize its fishing nets, then in the data science system, the model produces that data intelligence for us, but how in the data science system does the model exist? Is it a software program? Is it, um, uh, is it, is it a software program with an API that receives the output of our algorithm formula and then yeah. works with that to produce the results? How, what, how, how would you, just help simplify that. Yeah, sure, sure. So once we have the model, then because we, we are within the bounds of a computing system, then naturally the, the learned model would exist in the form of, put this way, in s some sort of a, uh, you can say a code, a piece of code, some, again, a software, put this way. And internally what that software is, that's what I was referring to. It's it's basically those learned parameters, the learned values of M and B, going back to our linear regression. But th th those are the, th that's the actual intelligence that we have learned from the uh, data. However, that would exist in the form of some uh, sort of a uh, piece of software. Okay. But, then, but it's, mm. it's a special type of software. It's software that is, it, it's software that augments itself based on the input it receives from the algorithm. Like, it's not just the compiled piece of software program that we deploy as an executable and it does a certain predefined task. This is special code designed to receive special data and that can be evolved over time to improve its output. Is that correct? Yeah. So the, the model would actually exist in the form of a data structure. So once we have learned all this, all this intelligence would, would be some sort of a data structure, a, a, a complex data structure. Now that gets stored somewhere. And then when you call the model, when you pass in the uh, its inputs, the required inputs in this case, then the model would act upon those inputs and then would produce a result. Okay, well, so it's a data structure? Yeah. But, so it, again, but it's also code. Uh, code is, yeah. So it gets a little bit difficult without getting a bit more technical in terms of like what exactly yeah, I don't, is a model. And I don't want to get more technical. I just want to conceptually establish what it is because it, 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 
it appears to be a unique type of component. Um, and I, you know, it's discussed, but I don't know how many people actually understand what it really is and, and how it works. And we try to relate it to traditional uh, application development, and but it seems distinct from that. And I, I just want to, in simple terms, you know, better understand it. So it's it's code that is accompanied by a predefined data structure. Um, or, or is the data structure itself influenced by what it receives from the algorithm? Uh, the data structure is our customized version of what we have actually learned from the data. So the actual data structure embodies our intelligence. It embodies what the model has learned. And then by using code around it, put it this way, it, we then call that data structure to actually, let's say, make a prediction. Okay. So um, if you were to look at a model, uh, it, it, so the model is provided, is, is there like a default model provided by the machine learning system or, or the, the, the data science environment? Is there like, here's your starter model, and then the the code and the data structure are then further shaped by how it's trained by the algorithm, or does the model not exist until we begin outputting data from the algorithm, and then that basically creates a brand new model from scratch? How how does it manifest? Yeah. So yeah, by default there won't be any model. So again, we select the algorithm. Then we start at that time, then we will have a very bare bone model that is not really of any use. So select the algorithm that kind of internally gives us a model, but that's of no use. So then we start training the model and then it becomes useful. And then it exists as a complex data structure that could be then called via an API to make predictions. Mm -hmm.